installation process begin. But then you may see some issues, errors, and actually you could not update to Windows 11. Hello everybody, you are on Andrea Halovi channel. Today I'm going to talk with you about Windows 11 22H2 update. So on my channel I already made two videos where I'm showing you in detail how to install it on unsupported laptop or computer. But some of you have issues and other problem in the installation process. First I want to give answer on the question. Which issues you could have if you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware? You may have problem with drivers. If your laptop or computer have all necessary important drivers on Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, that doesn't mean that all drivers will be on Windows 11. For the example, after installation Windows 11, you may see that camera works fine, but the microphone doesn't work. And that's what I'm talking about about compatibilities of the drivers. If your model works fine on Windows 10, that doesn't mean that it will work fine on Windows 11. And that doesn't mean that Windows 11 have some problems. That's mean that your device doesn't have drivers on Windows 11. Let's talk about installation. How to update from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Actually, you need to download Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft official website. In the first page, you may see that Windows already update from Windows 11 22H1 to Windows 11 22H2. If we're talking about first method, downloading ISO file is very important and you will not be able to update Windows 11 without downloading this special ISO file. After that, I was showing you in detail how to skip Windows 11 system requirements, TPM 2.0 and specification of the processor. If you do everything successful, you will get to the window where you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And in this moment, you may have some issues. For the example, installation process begin. But then you may see some issues, errors, and actually you could not update to Windows 11. In this situation, you can try to restart the laptop and disconnect from the internet and repeat all the process. Skip Windows 11 system requirements and try to run ISO file. In most cases, everything will start working. But if it still not work, you could try to use my second method. About the second method, you need to have a flash drive, Rufus program and Windows 11 ISO file. Also, I recommend to do all the process on Windows 10 because on Windows 7, you will not be able to skip Windows 11 system requirements in Rufus program. You need to install Windows 11 on your USB stick. Your USB drive need to have at least 8 GB of memory. It will be more than enough to install Windows 11 on your USB drive. After that, you will be able to install Windows 11 on any unsupported hardware. I show you in detail which version of the program you should install. Because if you install the newer version of the Rufus, you will not be able to skip Windows 11 system requirements. Actually, all the process are very simple. You just need to insert your USB stick into the laptop, select your ISO file, select option to skip Windows 11 system requirements, and that's all, you just need to wait until Windows 11 22H2 version will be installed on your USB stick. Also, I want to warn you, if you want to update from the pirate Windows or from the custom Windows to the licensed Windows 11, I think you will not have option for this. So, I recommend to have licensed Windows because we are not talking about Pirates Windows. I don't have any problem with people who think that Windows 11 shouldn't be installed on unsupported hardware or for people who want to install it on unsupported PC. Because it all depends on you, you can do this if you want. But if you don't want to install Windows 11, you can try to install Chrome OS Flex. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel I have a lot of interesting videos and I will be glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.